Welcome to Chris Court Photography. A quick video today on how to emphasise the highlights and dust clouds on the Milky Way using Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay, so you've got an edited uh, Milky Way picture here. So first, let's uh, bring out some of the highlights before we put it into Photoshop. So let's pull exposure up a little bit. Clarity. And the whites up and the shadows down. And the contrast. Fix the white balance to cool it a little bit. Right, if we uh, right click edit in Adobe Photoshop, edit with Lightroom adjustments. Okay, so we've got it open in Adobe Photoshop. So if we just duplicate the uh, background layer of Control J, and we want to select the highlight. So select color range, just use the eyedropper to pick one of the brightest stars. And we'll use this fuzziness slider here just to. Uh, Control just how much we'll select. So if we go around there, you can see we've got the marching ants to uh, show the selection. So we go select, modify, expand by two pixels, and then select, modify, feather by one pixel. We're basically expanding the selection and giving it a soft edge so it blends. Right, now we want to hit Control H to hide the selection so we can see what we're doing. We go to filter other minimum <clears throat> on this bar here you can now slide it up and down to reduce the number of visible stars and the higher you slide it the more the dust clouds and highlights you see on the milky way because the stars aren't getting in the way so if we put it about there for now go okay we then want to add a curves adjustment layer to um pull up the highlights bring down the shadow so if we select this hand tool here select the highlight slide it actually before we do that we've got to make sure the selection is deselected it all good go back to the curves hand tool I'll pull the highlights up through there select the shadows and pull it down a bit as you can see the um Dust clouds and highlights are a lot more emphasized now. So if we just group those together, control G and turn it off and on, you can see it's a lot more visible, but there are less stars. So what I do now is I'll take that group and I'll just bring the opacity down a little bit just to let some of the old stars show through, but not so much. So we've got like a happy medium of dust clouds and the stars. So if we save that now. Go back to Lightroom. There's the original. And there's now. We just want to add a few more tweaks. So if we get a radial filter, pull it over the area we've just edited in Photoshop. Get diagonal to match. And we can pop the clarity up a bit more. Just make it invert, so just select the middle area and on the outside. And then you can control that, bring the contrast up a bit. Shadows down. See the uh, dust lanes are a lot more visible now. I mean, you can go really go to town using the adjustment brush and painting over the uh, dust clouds manually with a, with a, a low flow, so like a 10% flow. And bring the shadows down and just keep painting and painting and push it as far as you want really but that's a, a quick way i'm sure many of you watching have already edited the milky way and have your own techniques but this is definitely a, a method to add to your current workflow just to give it a bit more pop so all the best